Welcome to Choya Innovation Labs in the middle of Texas. We've got about four megawatts currently energized. Give us a handle. About 110 peta hash. And here we got what's miners, Canons, Ardines, and some more S19. Just around $6,000 worth of day worth of revenue. We're gonna see every single piece of technology that exists across the mining space. This looks like a spaceship. Hey, start mining. Let's see it happen. What's up, Brad? What's up, Christian? True cowboy, it doesn't get any more Texas than this. Brad, tell me who you are, what's all this? Yeah, Brad Cuddy here with uh, Choya Energy. We wanted to make West Texas the compute capital of the world. Choya saw the intersection of the wind belt going from North Dakota to West Texas, the sun belt going from SoCal to West Texas, and then all the hydrocarbons below us. It's the uh, energy capital of the world. The idea was start small, find the partners we want to work with, and then scale from there. They call themselves the Compute Cowboys, and their logo features the Choya Cactus, which is native to Texas. It is sometimes called the Jumping Cactus because it is so easy to catch on touch. A cactus needs sharp thorns to survive in the desert, but Bitcoin miners will appreciate the cheap electricity here the most. Each of these towers is uh -huh. taking three-phase power from around the region. It's rooting it from place to place. So what's the energy price? It changes every five minutes based off if the sun is shining mm -hmm. or the wind is blowing. Mm -hmm. You can either be a real-time price taker mm -hmm. and just exposed to the market. We call it the Texas hedge. Other people would be called running naked. Or you could have a power purchase agreement where you contract with some retail electric provider that's gonna provide for a set mm -hmm. price. Mm -hmm. Our opinion is they're deploying solar so quickly uh -huh. and even more wind. So for us, as long as we can respond in real time, which we have been able to, I know Brains Manager yeah, yeah. is out there. Yeah, we're coming. We, we started a year and a half ago, right? Sure. And Brains Manager sure. wasn't there. On a five minute basis, we can uh -huh. turn off. Uh -huh. We get So you are running naked? Yeah, we're running, okay. we're okay. running naked, okay. butt ass naked. Interesting. <laughs> Walking through the entire complex, I literally felt like I was in a mining Disneyland. They don't call their business Choya Innovation Lab for nothing. It was obvious that they like to play with things and test a variety of different approaches. These are Bitmains. Yeah, we got um, 240 S19J Pros in here. We're running brains exclusively in this container. Let's go, let's go. Uh, in here we got what's miners, some canons, Ardines and some more S19s. Awesome. I have to appreciate the handle. So Bitman, again, being the only... What's wrong with you guys? It's like, give us a handle. We're switching this a lot, you know? It's like, <laughs> oh my... Uh, anyway. Man. Anyway. 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 There are multiple levels of sophistication in how you can run your mining operation, from a simple container to specialized professional equipment like this Gigabox Hydro. It's an integrated system, 25 foot skid. We've got the data center right there. The servers are being cooled by water that is inside of a closed loop system. So there's no water being used, it's just internal. That water is pumped around with this cooling distribution unit. So a pumping skid essentially. And that pumping skid pumps the, not only through the servers, but through the dry cooler where the hot water is sent through those veins and those pipes. Air is sucked across the fins. It's a big radio. Okay, okay. And then the fans on top that are running and blow and suck Push it out, through. suck it out, okay. So you can you can feel the difference in uh, uh -huh. temperatures here. Uh -huh. It's actually not too bad because it's- Yeah, it's cold it's so outside. Cold yeah. outside, yeah. The advantage of a closed hydro installation is that you can have a completely clean interior. And in addition, unlike air-cooled units, it is also much quieter. However, it is not a good idea to neglect security, so the entire area is guarded by many security cameras, both against unauthorized entry and in case of a water leak. By the way, I wasn't kidding when I called Choya a mining Disneyland. After the air-cooled and hydro machines, the latest and most visually stunning technology awaited us. So these have the What's Miner M56 S++. Uh, we got Hayden Immersion System. Uh -huh. So they're out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. They do predominantly coolers, compressor stations, like normal HVAC installations, mm -hmm, everything mm -hmm. like that. Here's the feeders. This is the cooled oil coming into the tank. These little spill plates are holding the liquid in. It heats up as it rises, coming through the miner. The immersion fluid 
takes up the heat from the heat sinks, comes to the top, it gets hot. Mm -hmm. As it spills over, it comes out the bottom here. Mm -hmm. And then that bottom fluid goes out to our coolers outside. It's a closed system, yeah. single loop instead mm -hmm. of a dual loop. Single loop is when you only use the immersion fluid and that goes out to the cooler. Double loop is when you would use the dielectric fluid and then a braze plate with another pump and then water would actually go out to the cooler. There's more complexity. However, it's cheaper because water is cheaper than immersion oil. Immersion fluid doesn't cool as well as water, even mm -hmm. with glycol. By the way, you're playing with a lot of different tech here, right? Yeah. But I see one immersion tank type, let's say. Why not try experiment with more? So good point. That's why we have all that extra room here. Nice. An extra wall space, an extra cooler space. Good, there. good. So it's still evaluating, but for us, this, this was the most expensive. At Choya Energy, I learned that it's the little things that make a big difference in how your business thrives like painting the building white to keep it from overheating on sunny days, spraying insulation foam to keep the temperature stable, and oversized airflow because the fluid in the tanks can only be as cold as the ambient air. So Brad, thanks for the tour. I love that you play around with you know, all the hardware, all the cooling tech, but where do you see the future? You might hate this answer, but I'm gonna say there is no king mm -hmm. because each location is gonna have better cooling tech for it. In West Texas, like I would say, if you have cheap power, build cheap infrastructure, buy cheap miners, run them into the ground. If you're a publicly traded company and you wanna show your investors something pretty, I'd go hydro or immersion. If you, you know, if you're up in the Arctic Circle and you're trying to reuse heat and you wanna, you know, heat a greenhouse, I'd be using hydro. If people are interested, can they reach out? Yeah, we're happy to help. Find me on Twitter. We're not trying to keep any secrets here. We want everybody to win. We're all in this together. We're all big winners. So yes, happy to help anyone any way we can. Awesome, man, I love it. Thank you. Thank you, bro.